Yo, what's up guys? It's Brandon here with Ballast on Flipping, and today we're going to be covering three topics. Um, the first one is why the Mako V3 is so much better than the Mako V4. Why trainer blades are better than live blades with facts. And then also the third topic will be why I'm just better than everyone else. Um, so stick around and uh, let's break this all down here. Um, so first of all, the Mako V3, the one I'm flipping now, is just so much better than the Mako V4. And uh, regardless of all the arguments that have been brought to the table about its durability and all of that, you can push all of that to the side. Now I noticed something. Uh, recently, I said that the Squid Trainer is the best uh, ballast on for flipping. And it is. I'm not changing that statement because I've actually tested it towards everything. So I know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, what's it called? So when it comes to the Mako V3, it has one of the biggest benefits that the Mako V4 will never have. And that's the fact of these hidden Zen pins. Now my biggest um, gripe or my biggest... Uh, I think Squid's biggest flaw, there we go, is the fact that they always do pressed Zen pins. And now, yes, they do work. Um, I have two ballast songs from Squid with pressed Zen pins that have not backed out. But as far as the Squid Trainer that I got, the most recent one, the Zen pins have been backing out. I've been having to push them in every day with my thumb. Um, and I know that other people have this issue as well because they bring it up on Instagram and Reddit and all that stuff. So it's a common issue and it's so fixable by just having tunable Zen pins, um, which I'm pretty sure are also just better because you can tune them. Um, but yeah, so my biggest uh, thing with the Mako V3 is that you, you don't have to tune them and they're not press fit, so they're not really going to back out. The two biggest problems with the Mako have already been solved with this version. Uh, the V1 was pressed Zen pin and they were backing out over time because of the um, because of the pressed Zen pins. They would just fall out. And then the Mako V2 was a Tang pin, which also backed out. Um, most Tang pins are pressed anyway, but uh, that one was just very loose. And then this one here fixed all of those problems. Because now you can just lock tight uh, four screws and you're good to go forever, pretty much. Like... I've been beating this thing up and down concrete all day long for a lot, a long time, and nothing happened to the Zen pen. So, um, I would say that this is a very finalized product that needs absolutely no changing and no remaking of any sort. Um, and lo and behold, they did, and it it introduced more problems. So, um, a lot of people want this one to come back, and I don't blame them. Um, the price is cheaper, and it functions better in the long run of things. So, anyway, <clears throat> uh, we move on to the second subject. We're going to get off the Mako subject and move on to... Uh, what was the next one? <laughs> Am I forgetting myself here? Oh, yeah. Why trainer blades are so much better than live blades. So, I'm just going to give you one little factoid. This is an absolute true statistical fact. Um... So yeah, anyway, trainer blades, since the time of them coming out to now, trainer blades have sold more than live blades, so get wrecked, everyone. And now we move on to why I'm the best. Um, a lot of people have noticed that I have like some big following and all that, and, so, and some people are confused by that, or some people think that, oh, I'm not the best flipper. Um, well, here's just something to consider, right? Here's something to consider. Even if you don't like my flipping, or even if you don't like me, have you ever considered that maybe I just am the best? Have you ever considered that? So anyway, there's a little, uh, some food for thought for you to think on. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Yeet.